so tonight we're just going to talk about what is a, what is a, a, a greeter. And I'm just going to put some um, words, uh, there we go. What is a greeter? The word is first. First what? I've got seven words, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven words that describe greeters and what they do or something about them. And the first word is first. Tell me what you think that word means as far as greeters are concerned. Impression. First impression. First impression. Someone walks in. You know, somebody came uh, last Sunday. Well, it was Easter, you know, Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. And uh, there's all, there are always a lot of visitors on that day, people visiting family, so on and so forth. And one family came in and they, they, they have the same look you know, when they come in, they've never been here. So they, they're kind of wide eyed a little bit and they're looking around and there's so much going on and so on and so forth. And I stepped forward to just greet them. Hi, how are you? My name is Mike, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Is this your first time here? Yes. Oh, well, welcome. You know. um, do you know anybody here? No. You know how much courage it takes to go to a church where you don't know anyone, where you have no relatives, nothing, no friends, zero. So the first person that they meet should be, doesn't always, doesn't always work that way. They, sometimes they come in by the side door and they, you know, they're in there. But the first person they usually meet is, um, is, the, uh, is the greeter. Um, I suggest to greeters that they should always have uh, 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 a paper, uh, a pad or something, and a pencil or a pen. Why is that? Get their names and information. Why? It's be good to follow up with. Yes, you're, you're probably two steps ahead of me, but yes, that's one thing. Something more simple. It's to remember their name. Yes, to remember their name. I mean, they're walking in, you met this one, you greeted that one, you, then, then there are people that are members of the church that you don't know very much, but you know they're members and you say, I forgot your name, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. and you've done all of that. And then we've gone to worship and some of you teach, you know what I'm saying? And then the service is over and people are leaving and that person that you greeted is walking out the door and you're going, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Brother so-and-so, you know, see, it'd be nice if you say, Peter, it was good that you came, and Joan, we were happy to have you with your children. And it's okay to cheat, you know, it's okay to say, Peter and Joan, okay, and, all right. Uh, you don't have to take notes, but uh, that I would suggest is probably the most important piece of equipment that you will have on you when you're greeting. Paper and pencil, okay. What does this mean? Some of it's obvious. We're representing the church. Yeah, you're representing the church. How? Politely and positively. Okay. If you're welcoming versus not. Yeah, you're being welcoming. What else? We're glad they're here. For sure. Enthusiasm. Absolutely, you know, instead of, oh, hi, nice to see you, okay, well, the worship's that way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little enthusiasm helps, we're glad. They have made an effort to come here to see what this place is like. And you as a greeter have the first opportunity to make an impression on them. So whatever you give them, that's what they're gonna take away, you know? Because subconsciously the thought is, if the greeter can't muster up some enthusiasm for visitors, I can't imagine what the rest of the congregation is, is like. You know, maybe a false judgment. What else about the greeter in being that representative? What else is necessary? Give them the information about classes. Or yeah, whatever. That's, we'll get to that. I was, uh, it's less of a problem with this age group, but how you look, you know, you represent 
the congregation. So Sunday morning is not the day to be wearing your, I don't know, whatever, uh, you know, your, your bush hunting equipment or your uh, <laughs> dress or your, you know what I mean? Uh, it's okay, you know, it's still okay to dress up a little for Sunday morning. And if you're greeting people, uh, it's okay to represent the church with, I, I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not mandating ties or things like that. There's no dress code, but the word is, hey, look your best, look your best, you know, because you're representing the congregation and we want to put our best foot forward. Okay. Another word, and we just got that. You are the source of information. All right. Tell me, what information do you think is important? Worship days and times. Where the classes are. Where the classes are, yes. What's the number one thing uh, visitors uh, want to know? Sunday's what do you offer? What kind of church is this? No. Nope. What do you offer? No. Nope. The schedule, like nope. what to expect? Nope. Where's the drinking fountain and the restroom? Oh, the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the bathroom? That's the first thing. I mean, that's, you know, survey, survey says, you know what I'm saying? Where is the bathroom? Why? Why do they want to know that? Peace of mind. Well, you're close. The bathroom is a safe space. There, you know, if it's, if it's uh, uh, and I, I don't want to make generalizations, but uh, the ladies, you know, they go to the bathroom and what are they going to do? Is everything okay? You know, is everything okay? My lipstick on properly, you know, whatever. No. And the guys are nervous, so they'll usually use the restroom, you know, but the bathroom is the first, even if they don't go there, they want to know where that place is because that'll be a place of refuge. That'll be a place where, you know what I'm saying? And I can just collect myself. What else? What other information do you have? Next, next piece of information for families. Well, the kids' classes is an important thing. Yeah, if they've brought their kids with them, they may not bring their kids to the class the first time they come, and we, we ought not to force that because the kids are hanging on, you know, the kids are, they're really afraid and they're hanging on to mom real tight. I mean, the little ones, you know, they're hanging on real tight. If they do want to go to class, what's very important for us to do? Take them by the hand, well, you know, take them to the classroom. Take mom and, you know, would you like to see where the classroom is? You know, uh, Sophie, yeah, okay. Come on, let's go. And, and okay, you've, you've left your greeter position, but that's okay, you, you, know, you, found, a, you found a client, you, know, you found a person. At Walmart, uh, when you ask somebody, or at, a, uh, at uh, Lowe's or whatever, when you say somebody, where are the cleaning supplies? They'll either say uh, H21, or, or better still, they'll say, come. I'll show you. And even when I say, oh, that's not necessary. No, no, I'll show you. And they'll walk me to the thing and they get they're right here. And then there's some others over here. If you want to look at those, that's customer service. That's good customer service. We should be able to do better than that. So we bring them to class and then knock on the door. Maybe it's Emily's class. You know, hello, Mrs. Gatewood. Uh, this is uh, Sophie and this is her daughter, Natalie or whatever, you know, oh, well, come on in, you know. Because mom wants to know, is this a safe place? Is it a clean place? Uh, who's going to be handling my kid? Uh, what do the other kids look like? You know, all of this is very important. So when someone says, uh, uh, yeah, the kids' classes are that way. No, that's, that, we haven't, we haven't, you know, we haven't served them, you know, properly, you know. And sometimes we just don't know if we've not done it before, okay? Facilitator, what does that mean? How do the greeters, how are they facilitators? Well, the example you gave, taking the child and the parents over to the classroom, <coughs> introducing them to the teacher, uh, leading them in that path. Yes, in other words, 
they're in a stressful situation. I mean, when it's a husband and wife, they've got each other and a couple of kids, you know, okay, with the family. But sometimes it's a single woman or it's a widow or a divorcee or whatever, you know, an unmarried person that comes all by themselves and they don't know anyone. That is, you know, that is a very stressful uh, situation. Um, especially if they're not members of, if they're a member of the church, they can say, well, I, you know, uh, like Brandon here, he said, well, I, I, was, I was at the you know, Church of Christ in Nevada, you know, oh, okay. But if you're a person who grew up as a Methodist or a Baptist and someone's told you about the Church of Christ and you finally, you know, screwed up enough courage to say, well, I'm just going to go see for myself. Wow, that's really, because you don't even know how the communion thing works. You imagine a Catholic coming to our service, you know, as a favor to somebody else and then sitting down, how absolutely a fish out of water that person must feel. I mean, he's ready to, oh, they're going to serve communion. Oh, uh, I'm going to get up and go down the aisle and get it at front. Oh, they hand it out. We drink the wine as well as take the bread. Oh my, you know, the, 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 the priest doesn't wear a frock. Uh, what's going on? You know? Women are greeting and doing stuff, you know? I mean, uh, so it's, uh, it, it can be a very uh, a difficult, um, difficult uh, experience. Uh, uh, give me the one word that describes what they need from you, the greeter. Reassurance, reassurance. You know, I, I make a joke out of it. Uh, I, I guess uh, us old guys, we, we can get away with a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But I tell them, I said, I guarantee you, we won't hurt you. You know, they, they laugh a bit and they, you know, uh, I'm telling them, I know you're nervous. I know this is uncomfortable. Don't worry, we, we won't hurt you, you know. You, they need to be reassured that everything will be okay. It'll be all right, you know, we'll, we'll take care of you. And, and if, if there's anything you need, you know me, Mike. Just remember Mike, you know, if you need anything, I'll be sitting down over there. And, and when one of the preachers, uh, usually it's uh, uh, Titus says, uh, stick around after and let us get to know you and so on and so forth. Who is he talking to? Well, he's talking to the visitors, but who are the ones that are gonna go see them again? Well, you usually. It's okay, to, they're singing, the, uh, they're singing the, uh, the closing song before we have the closing prayer. It's okay for the greeters to get up and get back out into the uh, foyer and be ready to you know, greet our visitors as they leave. Oh, Peter and Mary, well, I hope everything was okay. And did you, did you have any questions? No, thank you so much for visiting with us. Look forward to seeing you again. And of course you wrote down their thing and the date when they came. And if they happen to come back next Sunday and you're there and they walk in and you go, Peter, you're back, how happy. I mean, you can't understand what a difference that makes. So, you know, greeting, I mean, there's, there's a lot to it. You know what I'm saying? It's not just, I'm um, hanging out in the foyer, you know, there's, there's, a, there's, a, lot, there's a lot to it. Um, one other thing I, well, I'll, I'll put up another word. Explain this word. As a greeter, you're a networker. You could introduce them to another greeter. There you go. Exactly. <clears throat> this word embed seems to have come into the vernacular uh, during the Iraqi war when they would say, you know, reporters are embedded with the fifth division or whatever, whatever it is, you know, then they started using that term a lot. Well, greeters, part of their job is to help embed you know, visitors and new members into, you know, into the congregation. And as um, Harold said, the way to do that is you introduce them. And the easiest person to introduce them to is another, is another greeter, especially if they're going two ways. Um, they've got, uh, you know, they've got a, a seven-year-old, uh, but they have a teenager. So, oh, we do have a class for teenagers, and I, I hear this sometimes, it's across the way. Well, if you think they're nervous going just down the hall to find the class on the left, sending them off across the parking lot 
<laughs> to the building, they usually say, no, it's okay. I'm not. But if you say, come on, I'll walk with you. We'll go, I'll show you where it is. And then I'll, you know, you'll come back here after they're done. They'll all come back here and you're, you'll meet your parents here, back here. Okay. And of course, you don't think the teenager has a big say in if we're going to go to this church or not? You know, everybody can be for it, but if your 14 year old daughter goes, no, I hate it, I didn't like it, uh, they were nice to me, you know, I mean, it's going to be tough. One thing uh, I wanted to mention, uh, and that is when the, the, the biggest mistake that greeters make, that they almost have to resist consciously doing this, what do you think that is? Common mistake, doesn't matter what church it is. I mean, I've been in you know, lots of different congregations. It's a common error, common tendency. Let's put it that way. It's a common tendency. And it's part of this thing here. It's part of the network thing. Drilling them with questions. Uh, well, yes, that wasn't what I was thinking, but yes, drilling them with too many questions. Oh, you guys, you know, it's okay to say, do you live here? Uh, you know, no, we're just passing through on our way to Dallas. Oh, okay, well now, you know, okay, you know what you got here, you know what I'm saying? We've just moved here. Oh, okay, you know, or my mother, you know, is ill and we're here, you know, for, I don't know, several months, you know, you know, it gives you the lay of the land where they're at, where they're, you know, what their needs are. Because if she says, I'm here to attend my mother's funeral and this and that, you'll boy, well, wait a minute, here's a blue card. If you'd like, I'd help you fill one of these out and uh, one of our elders would be happy to offer a prayer on behalf of, of, your, of your mom or something. You know, I mean, those things count for a lot, but we gotta know it. And we don't know it if we don't, you know, if we don't ask. Anybody, uh, anybody come up with the, the, our, our, our big thing? We spend more time talking to each other than the visitors. <laughs> I mean, I see it all the time. Guys come in and you've got two or three greeters and they're saying, yeah, so yakety yak. And I mean, fellowship, it's great. We're talking, yeah, how was the weekend? Oh man, oh boy, we went to the thing, you know? And right behind them, a visitor you know, <laughs> walks right by. It's, it's just too easy to do. Uh, Usher. Nope. Yes, that has gone by the wayside for some reason that, that somehow we don't have ushers anymore. Actually, greeters used to be ushers. When I say usher, not only walking them you know, to the class and so on and so forth, but helping them find a seat. That is the single most stressful thing for the visitor is finding a proper place to sit because they're afraid of what? Taking somebody they're afraid of taking, they, they know enough to know that they may be sitting and I've, have you, know, have you never seen this? I have seen members, not here, well, I can't say that either. But anyways, I've seen members saying, I'm sorry, you're in my spot, you know. Oh. And I've got my spot too, you know where I sit. I sit down front on the left side, you know, and I, I like to sit six or seven rows back because my neck hurts if I have to go up. You know, everybody's got something, you know. Greeting, I mean, that's, that's what it is. It's not just, hi, welcome, you know, it's that, but it's, if you want it to be effective, if we want what's called stickiness, you know, people come and it's like, this is a good place. Uh, how did you enjoy, you know, they, they'll go home and, so how did you enjoy your time? Yeah, it was great. So what was it? Well, I don't know, it was okay. They, they can't quite put their finger on it, but their finger was, we took care of them. We recognized that they were in a stressful situation and, and we wanted them to feel comfortable with us and, and we want them to be with us. Well, you know, you do the same thing in your home, right? You cook up something good. Uh, next one, um, contact. Contact. The greeters should have identification card. Not, not, uh, not you know, you'll have your, your buttons, you know, ambassador and this and that, which is fine. But uh, hopefully we'll have some cards made which are not too much detail. 
but like this here, a picture, so they go, oh yeah, that's, that's Sarah, you know what I'm saying? And Sarah is a greeter. Hello, my name's Sarah. Perhaps Choctaw Church of Christ, uh, the address, uh, you know, the, the, uh, our, our website, you know, that type of information on that card. But uh, uh, Peter and his uh, wife and kids leave and say, hey, uh, here's, here's my card. If you come back, look for me. If you have any questions, you know, here's the, uh, here's the website, here's the church website. Uh, and if, if, you, if you, you know, uh, I've done it too on my business cards that had only my, you know, I got to talk to somebody and, you know, we, we began to talk more seriously about this and that. And, you know, and I said, well, look, I'll give you my cell phone number. And I just hand wrote it on the back of the card and say, so if you need me, you know, we'll, we'll get together for a study or something. But that's up to you. You know, I mean, that, that depends on the person and so on and so forth. So greeters will hopefully uh, have cards with pictures and contact information in case visitors have follow up questions. Maybe they want to call. They forgot to ask something. Is there a program for uh, mom's day out? Do you have uh, ladies days or things like that? They don't feel like waiting till next Sunday. Uh, they may uh, call the church and say, can I speak to Sarah, please? Yes, hi, this is Peter. Yes, and I was a visitor. All right, uh, Peter, uh, give me your number and I'll contact Sarah and she'll call you back, you know, or Michael call you back, you know, hey, Peter, what's up? What's going on? I had another question, blah, blah, blah. Well, we'll have another session uh, next time um, uh, uh, today, this was uh, what do greeters do uh, next time. Um, uh, some of the things that uh, you're supposed to be responsible for.